Hey everyone, and welcome to my second video on analytic geometry and trigonometry for straight lines, where this section we will be discussing slopes of perpendicular lines. Where my last video I introduced to you guys slopes and how you can determine the slope of a line. So for example, let's start with here where our slope is 4 over 3, where that's the rise over run. In order to determine the line or slope perpendicular to this slope, it would simply be negative 1 over that slope. So I'm going to start by sketching out just a schematic to quickly to show you guys what we would mean by perpendicular slopes of perpendicular lines for that slope. So here I have a line. It's positive because if you're going from left to right on the x-axis, it's technically going uphill, so positive. That's kind of how I think of it. There's multiple ways to consider this signifying them. But say m1 is equal to 4 over 3, m2 being a 90 degrees would be a negative 1 over m1. So that's basically negative 1 over 4 over 3, and that can be simplified to negative 3 over 4 to determine the slope perpendicular to 4 over 3. So let's work on an example here where a line goes through a point 4 comma negative 6 and is perpendicular to the line y equals 4x plus 10. And we're going to try to find what the equation of the line is. So for starters, the slopes of the two lines that are perpendicular are related by, like I previously mentioned, negative 1 over m1. So we know what this first slope is, and that's by given to us in the standard slope equation of y equals mx plus b. And if I write this over the equation that we're given of y equals 4x plus 10, you can kind of see the variables on how they are assigned. So the first slope is going to be 4. So the slope perpendicular to that would be negative 1 over 4. And the equation of the line is in the form of y equals mx plus b. So m being negative 1 over 4. And we have a known point, which is x and y. These are our coordinates. And that is given to us as 4 and negative 6. And then the only unknown here is b, which is the y-intercept, as I introduced to you guys in the previous video. So if we plug in all these values and do the proper math to get b by itself, we get a value of negative 5 for the y-intercept. So now if we do the standard slope equation again, we can get our formula to be y equals negative 1 over 4 x minus 5. And that is the equation of the line. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little crash course on slopes for perpendicular lines. Make sure to like and subscribe for future videos. And I hope to see you guys there.